matter insofar as the three funds are concerned, is on the lending money to the vulnerable, and especially the categories that are targeted by the three funds. And therefore, Madam Speaker, I support the committee that these funds should operate as they do independently, and we try to bring about efficiencies into those that are not as efficient. Madam Speaker, also, amalgamating and taking the functions into, into private banks, Madam Speaker, is swamping and taking these monies into swamps. Madam Speaker, because the people who are targeted by these funds are people who hitherto are unbankable and people who banks ordinarily would never touch or lend money to. And therefore, Madam Speaker, the way we operate and the way they operate is much better, and especially if we can do some uh, uh, regulations insofar as increasing efficiencies and funding is concerned. But I want to speak on a more broader matter, because, Madam Speaker, these funds operate in the space of finance, and they operate in the space of giving credit giving credit and especially to groups. Number one, we need to give much more independence to these funds so that they do not concentrate majority of the resources into groups. Because, Madam Speaker, it is very hard, and especially in a group setup, to find people who are homogeneous, people who are thinking the same, and therefore when they are given money, they are likely to allocate these resources in a manner that is in tandem with all of them. And therefore, we need to encourage individual borrowing and individual lending by these funds because it is much more efficient, it is much more versatile. And when we talk about finance and lending, Madam Speaker, we need to look at this matter broadly, and especially even specifically by giving these three funds even more weight and more role. Because in Kenya, we tra we tradition we, we, uh, in many cases, rely on the traditional sources of finance. That is, you go to the bank, you get credit. You go to Women Enterprise Fund, and especially when you can show the ability to pay, you are given credit. But we need to explore and even give these three funds the ability to be versatile, to be able to explore something called private equity. Madam Speaker, across the world, another big source of finance is private equity, where uh, uh, monies are invested in going concerns, and the funds or the people who avail the money, they are given stakes in these, uh, uh, in these enterprises. The other one is uh, um, VC, Madam Speaker, VC that gives money and especially to ideas, incubating ideas into becoming real businesses. Madam Speaker, I say so because the economy of the world is gravitating towards modernity, and we cannot afford to remain in the slabberlad of the yesteryear's businesses and yesteryear's modes of finance. Madam Speaker, majority of the big companies in the world actually got their money from VC, from PE, and not necessarily in the traditional manner of getting finance. If you go to a country like Nigeria, Madam Speaker, by drawing into those kind of, kinds of finance, there are like three unicorns. That is startups that are valued more than $1 billion. Startups that are valued more than Taiwan banks in Kenya, Madam Speaker, and these are startups because they are able, Madam Speaker, to draw money and to draw uh, finances from people who would later get a stake in those um, companies, Madam Speaker, and therefore they become into the same business together. As I wind up, Madam Speaker, if you look at even the big companies,